Hey everybody, uh, I'm Ken the Metal Professor. I am the host of a radio show called Mostly Metal on WVLP in Valparaiso, Indiana, which I'm sure you've all heard of. We broadcast at 103.1 FM. Uh, on my tiny little metal show, I have for the last few weeks been recording from Metal Professor's music basement because the studio is closed off to uh, you know actual humans for the last few weeks and probably the next several weeks as well. And to make things fun for myself, I'm being a copycat from other people that have done this on YouTube by making top 10 lists and ranking lists for bands, songs, and CDs. And I'm in building these uh, top 10 lists into my show. So I'll play some new music and then I'll play my top 10 favorite songs from whatever. And this week I've been working on building my list of my top 10 favorite songs by the symphonic metal band from Austria, Edenbridge. So I'm going to rattle off my ranking of those CDs and then also my top 10 favorite songs. I don't know which is better to do first. Do you do the, the ranking of the CDs first and try to keep secret which songs are your favorites? Or do you uh, give your ranking your top 10 songs first and probably somehow spoil and give away your ranking? It's, you, know, you, you can't really... You can't really win either way, so I'm going to rank the CDs first this time. Uh, Edenbridge has 10 discs starting from the year 2000 when they released Sunrise in Eden. Uh, and their most recent is Dynamine from 2019. Uh, 10 discs over 20 years. Not too bad. The hard part about ranking their discs is that they have been so absolutely consistent in their sound the style of music that they write over these 10 discs it's really hard to distinguish a lot of them um, for for the right reasons um, you know take up you know okay take queen's right you know there every third cd they've they've uh, kind of changed their tune literally and so it's easy to sort of categorize their discs into the early era, the later era, and then rank them from there. Um, even Nightwish, which has a style you're, that's going to approach that of Eden Bridge a little bit, um, you know, Nightwish being the gods, the kings and queens of symphonic metal. As you go back through their discography, you know, you can see their evolution from more of a pure power metal band with some symphonic whittlings to now they've almost got their own genre of uh, symphonic metal um, and so there it's easy to sort of break the discography down Edenbridge it's it's so much harder to do that because their their sound their style has been so consistent over these 20 years you know the same vocalist all along Sabine Edelsbacher the same guitarist and songwriter Landval so <clears throat> nothing much has changed other than maybe the production values uh, you know maybe the the recording and the the tracking and the vocal layerings in particular get a little bit more sophisticated the symphonic elements become a little more heavy and symphonic as opposed to keyboardy if that makes sense okay so there's some subtle changes but still you know, not a whole lot of difference from beginning to end so it's hard to break down. So what I've done is I've I've broken the 10 discs into three sets where basically the first set, which ends up being my numbers uh, 7, 8, 9, and 10 in, in the list of favorites, are the ones that, okay, these are good CDs. They have nice songs, um, but maybe they don't have any songs that just really stand out. You know, not, maybe none that get on my top 10 list. Um, so, you know, good stuff, but not standout stuff. Uh, then a set of three where now we're starting to have songs which are just punctuated excellence uh, compared to the rest which which when I say they sound similar that's not a bad thing right it's just it's their sound and they know what it is uh, and then there's three at the top which to me are just spectacular um, and they stand out above the others even though they have a much similar core sound to them. So those first four, I'm going to arrange in order this way at number 10, Solitaire from 2010, right smack in the middle of their discography. Higher and further afield are a couple of good songs. Uh, he, all in all, it's, it's you know, when I heard it the first time, uh, compared to the one that came out before it, I didn't think it was an improvement. Compared to ones that came after, you know, maybe not quite as good. It just kind of it, it sort of just belongs there in the discography and it, it doesn't really stand out for itself. Um, their debut, Sunrise in Eden, I will put at number nine. It might be really weird to put a debut album 
so low in a list but here they were uh, you know they were they were getting their sound the production maybe was a little bit um, a little bit more raw I mean it's 2000 very polished production it's hard to say raw but as compared to the other ones which are very very slick right there you can notice somewhat of a difference um, Cheyenne Spirit the title track Holy Fire these are good tunes so you, you know from the disc what they're going to sound like uh, but when I compare it to others in their discography now it just it just isn't one of my favorites seven and eight uh, flip a coin as to which is which uh, the grand design I have at number seven and my earth dream I have at number eight uh, the grand design from 2006 my earth dream from 2008 right these two came out back to back um, they could have just been one long album there's really nothing to set one disc apart from the other um, on my earth dream we've got paramount and places of higher power is good tunes on the grand design I like particularly evermore flame of passion and see you fading afar uh, so I don't know what to say about them other than they're they're good um, they're, but they're indistinguishable from each other and from others okay now we're getting into the middle three which to me are ones where now we're getting to where oh yeah there's some good good standout songs I mean I like listening to the other four that I've already listed but not nearly as much as the ones coming up uh, it's six I will put a Felian from 2003 this is their third disc um, dead end fire far point every anywhere are both great um, heavy and fast tunes red ball in blue sky featuring DC Cooper if you didn't know that and you're a DC Cooper fan you definitely want to check out this tune because the duet between him and Sabine that comes into play later in the song this is a nice long like nine or ten minute song um, it's just really good stuff the second half of that disc to me is far stronger than the first half uh, with a warning though if you do want to check out Aphelion and say you had to Spotify don't um, at least currently uh, the version of Aphelion they have on Spotify was a special edition that had the first original studio disc and then the second disc was a live album and on Spotify the tracks that are labeled as being the tracks from side one studio are just duplicates of the tracks that are on side two the live album so you're not actually going to hear the songs from Aphelion uh, when you go to Spotify and listen to Aphelion um, Sunrise and Eden is not even on Spotify at all so you can't really you the two of the ten discs uh, you're not going to have any luck listening to on Spotify until they fix that aphelion problem I, I wrote them about it and they said hey we'll check it out but that was a few weeks ago who knows what's gonna happen um, the bonding at number five from 2013 mystic river the invisible force and shadows of my memory is a great tune uh, just a really strong record all in all Arcana at number four <clears throat> this was their second album from 2001 Starlight Reverie color my sky and my favorite there on that album fly on a rainbow dream this was the first Eden Bridge album that I bought you know back back when it like a year or two after it came out if that much um, and fly on a rainbow dream is like the third song on the album and when I heard that song I specifically remember going yeah this is a good band I'm gonna like this stuff the next three the top three in the list these are the ones that like if somebody said okay you have to get rid of all the Eden Bridge albums but three which ones would they be no doubt these three um, shine from 2004 the title track is great and the road goes on what you leave behind October sky just really good from beginning to end um, as this was their fourth disc and after Aphelion I was starting to think oh, okay you know I, I've gotten the Eden Bridge thing and you know I know what they're gonna sound like and shine came along and uh, up the game significantly it still was exactly the perfect Eden Bridge sound but melodies were improved songwriting was improved I just liked it a lot um, and then the next two the top two are the most recent two the great momentum from 2017 at number two and dynamine from 2019 at number one uh, the great momentum it starts off with with great tracks and it keeps going Shyantara, the die is not cast the moment is now um, really really good songs and then eh, kind of maybe it dips a little bit but then it closes out fabulously with the greatest gift of all which is like a good 12 minute uh, song with all sorts of moods and melodies in it I definitely recommend you listen to it it's it's really good stuff and then for I don't I don't know if this is weird I think it is when I compare 
this to what I think of other bands and their discographies. Their most recent disc, their 10th disc, is my favorite one, Dynamite. Um, to me, I don't know what happened. They took their Wheaties. The songwriting is great. The melodies are great. The vocal layerings are great. The symphonic elements are symphonic. Um, I'm, you know, I, do they have a full actual symphony? I don't know, but their keyboards might sound really, really good. Um, the Memory Hunter, Live and Let Go, Where Oceans Collide, What Dreams May Come, just good songs all over the place in Dynamite. So if you haven't heard Eden Bridge, um, hey, rush out and listen to their most recent one. It's a great place to start. It's my favorite, and who knows, you might like it. So uh, 10, Solitaire, 9, Sunrise and Eden, 8, My Earth Dream, 7, The Grand Design. But again, those two, flip them around if you want. 6, Aphelion, 5, The Bonding, 4, Arcana, 3, Shine, 2, The Great Momentum, and number 1, their most recent, Dynamite. Now I'm going to pause for a sec, wet the whistle, and list out the uh, top 10 favorite songs by Eden Bridge that I'll be putting into my show this week. Okay, <clears throat> I'm ready to tell you my top 10 favorite songs by the Austrian symphonic metal band Eden Bridge. These will be incorporated into my show. If you happen to catch this video in time and you want to listen, uh, Wednesday night, 10 to 12 U.S. p.m. 10 to 12 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Sundays, 8 to 10 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Uh, go to wvlp.org and hit the listen now. You can also use the TuneIn radio app. Um, if you happen to live in my small hometown, then you can listen to this while you're driving around. But the yeah, odds of that are pretty slim, right? Um, the favorite tracks I have down are going to, they're probably going to be in one of three different types. Uh, short, like four, four and a half minute songs that are just nice and fast and powerful and crunchy. Um, songs that have really nice melodies, maybe a little bit more balladish. Uh, and then a couple of them are, you know, the lengthier meteor tracks that just go all over the place in terms of slow to fast to heavy to emotional to crunchy, you know, and, and a little bit of everything in between. So at number 10, I'm going to put the song Paramount off of My Earth Dream. This is one of those songs that are short and sweet and with a punch. Um, I dig it. Number nine, Red Ball in Blue Sky off of Aphelion. First half of the video, if you watch that, I mentioned that this is the song that DC Cooper sings guest vocals on. So there's some nice duet action going on through this. Uh, it's also a nice long track. Number eight, Fly on a Rainbow Dream. I told you my story about that song uh, off of Arcana. Just the, just the opening vocal line from Sabine just gives me goosebumps every single time. Return to Grace, number seven, off of The Great Momentum, their second most recent CD, and that's the first of two songs from that album in this list of mine. Number six, October Sky, off of Shine, kind of like Paramount. It's a short one with a good punch to it, a good beat. Um, number five, See You Fading Afar, off of The Grand Design, sort of from the middle of their discography. But that's one of their standout tracks, you know, The Grand Design, My Earth Dream, Solitaire, and The Bonding, chronologically, kind of all, all four came in a clump, um, separated by, you know, what, seven years, eight years, something like that. Very, you know, in terms of, you could just take all the songs from all four CDs and lump them in a pile and tell somebody, okay, now separate the songs out according to which album they were on. And they're so they're so consistent and indistinguishable from each other that that would be a really really hard job but see you fading afar is one of the songs in that we'll call it that whole batch from four cds that really really stands out um and then paramount which i started with as well other than that i don't i don't have any songs on this list from uh the bonding or sunrise and eden or solitaire okay where did i stop uh, yeah, See You Fading Afar from The Grand Design at number five. Number four, Where Oceans Collide off of Dynamind. And then number three is Live and Let Go off of Dynamind. Um, great choruses to both of these songs. These, you know, this, this album, Dynamind, starts out with three or four songs in a row that are fairly consistent in length and style, uh, with just, you know, good symphonic elements, wonderful choruses. Um, both of those tunes are great. I dig them. Uh, and then the last two are going to be some of the lengthier ones. 
you know, Red Ball and Blue Sky down there at number nine. That was a good, like, I think nine minute song or so from Aphelion. The Greatest Gift of All is off of The Great Momentum. That's probably their longest song. I didn't actually write down the times to compare, but uh, it closes out that disc and it's at least 12 minutes long, I believe. Um, it's got every possible feel that you would want in that song. Uh, it's got crunchy stuff later on. It starts soft. It has soft parts elsewhere. Uh, a really good hum along chorus, vocal layerings to die for. Um, and then speaking of that, Shine. The title track off of Shine is my number one song by Eden Bridge. It has been since I first heard it. Um, that's just the, to me, it's the quintessential Eden Bridge song. I would play it for anybody that wanted a sample. Um, even people that don't like metal, I think, would appreciate this song. Just, it's beautiful. I can't get enough of it. So, those are my 10 favorite songs from Eden Bridge. Some other ones that didn't make the list, but I like uh, The Moment Is Now off of The Great Momentum, Shadows of My Memory off of The Bonding. Um, if I was going to put in like a just pure, pure ballad, Forever Shine On from Sunrise and Eden, their first album, I think, sticks around as one of their best ballads altogether. Dead End Fire from Aphelion is another song with a punch. It just comes in, does its business, and gets out of there. Um, so you can't go wrong no matter where you look. I highly recommend Eden Bridge altogether as a really, really consistent band with no surprises. I think that's the best way to put it. So go listen. Next video I make for next week's show, as I'm prepping for that, probably going to be top 10 Fates Warning songs. We'll see how that goes. <laughs>